God Almighty put his great and holy name on the Jewish people. We're God's people. And those words have no uh, demand. They have no requirement. They're not an instruction. They're a statement of fact. Everybody knows, especially the people who hate us the most, that every Jew carries the name of God Almighty. Not because of what he does, but because of who he is. And when we sing at of Chatonu, so we get to the tzaddik real quick, because the tzaddikim are doing wonderful, and I don't want to say anything else. And then we get to the children. And we sing and we sing and we sing and we sing and we sing. But no part of the nigan expresses our own sense of self-identity with those last few words. Hashem has placed His great and holy name upon us. And you know that in Hasidus, praise Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, we crown Hashem as a king. Praise Rosh Hashanah, the Hasidus. So in a Hasidic level, we're crowning HaKadosh Baruch as a Melech. And one of the most meaningful insights in Hasidus about a king and his relationship with his subjects is Melech Shmoy Nekralehem. You carry the king's name. You carry the king's name. I went to Russia. I went to Russia over 35 years ago. It was this time of year, 1987. And uh, we had some kind of fabrengen. 1988 is before, it was still 87, it was December. It was before, uh, it, it was after Perestroika and Glasnost, but it was still Sovetska Sayuz. It was still the Union of Social Socialist Republic. May it rest in pieces. It should stay split. And my friend and I, Fabreng someplace, must have been one o'clock in the morning, and we went outside to hail a taxi, and we couldn't get a cab. It was so cold. It was so cold. And after waiting maybe 40 minutes, a car pulls up, and out step five men in those, the Russian Steinmach. They were police officers. They circled us. Passport. I felt like I was in Nazi Germany. It was not a pleasant moment. We handed them my passports. He looks at me, looks at my passport, looks up at me. You Jew? I said, yes. <laughs> but I'm an American. <laughs> I'm an American. <laughs> <laughs> and he handed me back my passport, got into his car and drove away. Within two minutes, a cab came to pick us up. So we decided that the whole Russia had a conspiracy against us. <laughs> but I remember, forgive me for saying this, I remember how good it felt to hold an American passport. <laughs> Rabbi Isai, we do not hold an American passport. We hold a passport of Shimcha HaGodol V'HaKodesh Aleinu Karas. We carry Hashem's name. And it's a Shmire, it guards us. It doesn't only guard us and protect us, it guards us or protects us from our own stupidity sometimes, you know. And we sing this thing in Vishimcha Hagodov HaKodesh. And we sing it 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 until we believe it. <laughs> until we believe it. And we sing it some more and we sing it some more. And very quickly, there's going to come a time and place where the idea that Veshim Ha Gobel Ma Kodesh Alayu Kodos will be plain for all to see.